store in the station building. Yori is looking over a shelf of novels. Yori and Ichiro meet in the same aisle. Hi! Long time no see. Hi. It was fun last night, wasn't it? For a moment, the two are confused. Something is not right. Ota Ichiro. Misunderstanding. We'd better talk this over. Why don't you come over to my place? It's been a long time. Just a minute. Let me just pay the ghost. It was really you. Ichiro is sure that the girl he met looked just like Yuri. Me met Ichiro. That is very strange. With someone else. But she soon joined our conversation and, and we talked a lot. Ichiro was at his friend's birthday party the night before when he met. Ichiro was at his friend's birthday party the night before when he met the other Yuri. Did she tell you where she lived? No. She came along when I left the party. I said I would walk her home, but she said she was all right. We parted in front of my house. And the girl knows where Ichiro lives. Because he has to write a paper. Yuri sees him to the front door. See you. Oh, yes. What is it? Now I remember what she said. She said, Emmett. I don't know what it means, but she sure said Emmett. As the heavy steel door opens, a sweet fragrance comes out. It is the same scent. Yuri turns around to make sure there's no one following and goes in through the door. She knows that someone like her has come from the world of Emmett. Yuri may have been his mother. She hesitates for a moment, but crouches down to wipe away the dust on the bed. It isn't a mirror. To her amazement, she finds there's another face exactly like hers looking at her from inside. It's so unexpected that she doesn't know what to do. Well, hello. Are you... Hi. Good to see you here. The tunnel seems to go downhill and becomes deeper. As she moves on, the fragrance grows stronger. Suddenly, the ground starts to move upward and it lifts her up to the top of the pit. It feels just like an elevator. The exit on the other side might be like this too. And the blue sky up above. This where you live? That's right. My name is Ken. You are Julia. Julia? That's your mother's name, right? She starts walking fast. Walk more slowly. You're an old lady. You shouldn't look so energetic. All right. Although she isn't sure how to fake it, she tries to walk like an old woman. She's taking my 
right place. That's the problem. She met somebody there. She fell instantly in love with him. So she may not want to come back. It must be Ota Ichiro. He's a friend of mine. But the ground is moving down too slowly. She can see the guard above aim at her with his gun. And yet somehow she is not the person she used to be. For the past few days, Toshiko has had this uneasy feeling. She senses some unexplainable changes have come over Yuri. They're little things, but they bother her. For example, after washing her face, Yuri used to toss her towel over the rail by the sink and leave it all crumpled. What brought you here so late at night? Yuri lets Ichiro in and sits down on her bed. Well, do you remember the book I lent you? I'd like it back if you can find it. I need it. What book? What was it about? Egyptian history. Ouch. She grimaces. In the other world, she had been called. What to do? What is it? Well, I'm home now and I'm all right. Oh, I don't have to do anything, do I? I can't keep my eyes open. cries out and dodges the blow. She jumps to her feet. What are you doing? Why did you come back? Wait. You're Julia, aren't you? Yuri calls her by the name by which she is known in the other world. How do you know my name? You met my son, didn't you? It's me. I'm Yuri. Don't lie to me. Ouch. Are you hurt? I've been shot. Let me go. Uh, your clothes are different. Are you really Yuri? Ask me again and I'll punch you. Okay, okay. You're, you're Yuri. I can tell. He raises his hands to protect his head. Ozawa Yoko doesn't seem to believe Yuri's story. How long have you been a secret agent? Well, you don't have to believe me. I only told you because you wanted me to. But it's just incredible. It's only natural for Yoko not to believe me. Sometimes even I doubt whether it actually happened. Astonished to find that construction work has started where the bookstore was. Uh, I read a notice saying that this store was closing. I didn't know. What are they going to do with it? They're knocking it down, perhaps. Excuse me. Is this building going to be torn down? Huh? Oh, yeah. It's going to be a larger building. A larger building? You mean the basement will be torn down, too? Yeah. Tomorrow. 
Once we get started, it'll come down quickly. If she hasn't gone back to the other world yet, she will never be able to return in the future. I am worried, though I can do nothing about it. Stops to look at some pebbles on the road. They are joined together to form letters. They read, Emmet. Emmet? So Ken must be around. She finds some children playing. Beside them is an old man sitting in the sun on a bench. Ken! Are you okay? I've been worried about you. Are you all right? Didn't you get hurt? It's not serious. Ken, is Julia back? happy though because she imagines that there may be other tunnels to the other world through which those people might be visiting this world unnoticed 